Coming up now is Destination Germany. We're taking you on a journey somewhere in the country that is well worth a visit, whether you're a tourist or a permanent resident, a foreigner or a German citizen. Here, we'll be covering the famous sites as well as those little-known corners of Deutschland. All that matters is showing you that Germany is an interesting and exciting place to visit. And if you enjoy the destinations that we talk about each week, check out our website, thisweekingermany.de, and we'll have photos of each week's destination. Last time we talked about something in the front of everyone's mind here, beer. And, more specifically, we took a look at what visitors can expect when taking a trip to the Becks Brewery in the city-state of Bremen. You can tour their factory and find out about how the number one worldwide German beer is made. And remember, after you take this fun, guided tour through the beer-making process, you get to sample some of their products as well. So, Rob, what is on our lineup for this week? This week, we're going to look at a really cool monument located in the southwest of the country. We're traveling down to the state of Bavaria to the city of Kelheim. Overlooking the entire city is the mountain called Michelsburg. And on top of this mountain is a grand memorial called Befreiungshalle. Befreiung. That would translate to liberation in English. I guess this is a monument dedicated to some sort of... Um, time when people were liberated does that make <laughs> sense at all <laughs> yes it was built by king ludwig king ludwig, ludwig king ludwig the first of bavaria back in the 1800s to commemorate victories against napoleon during the wars of liberation i guess this is the kind of project which they spent years building and it's so grand i mean just from the way that you've described it so is this the kind of m memorial which is grand and beautiful to behold what does it look like well, it is a huge circular building that sits on top of a mountain, and you can see it from a long way off. There are three tiers to this golden yellow building, with the largest being at the bottom, and it gets a little narrower as it gets taller. At the top of the first tier is a ring of human statues that represents each of the German regions that were involved in the battles against Napoleon. The second tier is decorated with impressive columns, and the third is topped with statues of German warriors. Both the second and third tier, both the second and third tiers have balconies that visitors can look out down the mountain and across the Bavarian lands. How about the inside? What does that look like? Is it as impressive on the inside as you made the outside sound? The interior is exceedingly marvelous. There is a round oculus in the ceiling that gives natural light to the entire room. A ring around the inner room has plaques and inscriptions of each battle that took place. Joining these are 34 angels that are 7 meters tall, holding hands to form a circle. Anything visitors should know before making plans to see the Hall of Liberation in Kelheim? As I said earlier, it is at the top of a mountain. You can take a nice hour, hour and a half hike up there from the bottom, or you can take the Ludwig Railway for a fee. While there's no regularly guided tours, if you're thinking about going with a group, you can call ahead and arrange one. So if you're in central Bavaria, and I would highly recommend going to the city of Kelheim to check out the Befreiungshalle. If you want a better idea of what this place looks like, go to our website, thisweekingermany.de, for some photos.